Hello everybody and welcome to Memphis, Tennessee on this July the 2nd. Hot! It's been a hot year so far, but we've had lots of rain. Things are growing fast. It's summer and it's time to trim back the Kosu dogwood tree. My finger, I focused on my finger, but there it is. It's my favorite tree in a small place, my backyard. Let's go to the gate. Look at it. There's my gate. There's my dog. There's my other dog. Anyway, this is a small space. I've done lots of videos on this tree. It's a beautiful tree in a very small space. I'm going to back up. Right now, it's shaggy, tall. There's not a lot of light getting through to places. Not a lot of separation. This tree is about 25 years. Uh, probably about 27 now. So we've been in the house 25. There's a spider web. It'll be gone. Anyway, I'm not going to go through the process. I'm just going to show you the results. I'm going to talk about the results. I'll talk about this wonderful tree, which is done flowering. There's a little leftover seed. I don't know how to plant another one from it, but I guess I could just plant that. I don't know. Let's put that to the side. Let's put that right here. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I'm gonna show you the results in a few seconds. And we are all done. So let's look here. This is all the uh, lots. My favorite tool is right here. I love that thing. Excellent. Anyway, let's go back here and look. Now you can see that it's all uh, even out here. Okay, quite a bit down. Still a little over 10 feet probably. I don't know how tall it is. Anyway, there's Fisher. The main goal was to be able to get some light here at the bottom and to all the leaves. It is very hot. Never give up on things. Just keep on working them. This tree is very old, 27 years, I think, like I said, still going. The summer months are very tough on it because it is in a small area, but look at it. Beautiful. So. I just try to get everything to have some light and when it does rain so everything gets wet because I do not do anything to this tree except for trim it, shape it up the way I like it. I do not water it, it makes it on its own. Beautiful. There's some blue sky, soft leaves, good times, good times. The bark is shedding down there because it's going to grow some more but everything looks healthy on it ah, i don't see anything dead no bugs it's just going to grow a little bit more for next year add another ring to the circle of life and that's what it's all about I think I got enough there. I do like to trim it up a little bit more, but it's so hot. I'm just gonna do this for right now. All right, we trimmed back the Kosu dogwood tree. We had some fun. They're great trees, perfect for small areas. They do like the heat somehow. This one makes it on lots of sun on the top, shade on the bottom. Hardly any rain during the summer. Mild winters at times. We're in zone 8, 7A, and it's doing good. The Kosu Dogwood Tree. Bye.